Hey everyone, it's Merrick here again to kind of discuss, um, or to definitely discuss the effects of testosterone um, for a female to male transgendered person. Um, before I continue, I'd like to uh, go ahead and say that gender is fluid and that you don't have to have any sort of medical intervention in order to consider yourself trans. I've personally chose that um, due to the effects of testosterone and um, being fully as male as I, I can be. Um, and I know that testosterone will definitely help. Passing is one thing. Feeling comfortable in your body is totally different. Like, in order to feel comfortable in your body, you can choose whatever you want to do. It's your body. Do it. Uh, that's my personal opinion on it. I'm, I'm sure many other people as well. Um, so, to kind of go into the different effects, I have this lovely little, I got this hormone guide from my HRT session. And I just thought I'd share it with some people who are thinking, well, maybe I want to change or maybe I don't. Or, you, like I said, you could be, you can consider yourself whatever the heck you want to consider yourself. If you want to be trans, you can. In fact, you could, if you wanted to change your, um, your gender marker from female to male, or if you're going, I know I have a couple people, subscribers who are um, male to or male to female. Um, you don't have to. In many cases, I know in my case, I could just go and get a letter from the health center I go to, and have them, and then go to the court and be like, I need this changed, and they'll do it. And if that, and if you just want your name changed, you go and they'll do it. Uh, it, it'll take a little bit of time and effort, but you get what you want in the end. So enough with that. Let's go into the different changes. Um, so I'm just mainly talking about, I am just talking about testosterone. I do have information here about feminizing hormone therapy, um, but I, I'm going through the, testosterone, the effects of testosterone. So the, some of the desired effects are that of deepening of the voice, which has already began for myself. A decreased hip fat, weight gain as well as muscle mass increase, mild breast atrophy, atrophy, I can't speak or read, I guess, uh, mild, mild breast atrophy, uh, the change in the, the, the shape and stuff and such of the breasts, increased libido as well as redistribution of body fat. Things start moving, your body starts changing in different ways. There's also increased body hair, as well as uh, an increased clitoris size and loss of menses. This varies for some people. Sometimes it takes one month, sometimes it takes three, sometimes it takes six. Overall, it'll take over a year to kind of level out. So those are considered desired effects. Some guys, I guess, I guess they have categorized that as desired. Some people might not want all of that. Um, and some of that will go away once you stop taking tea. In fact, most of it will. Um, you will, the, your menses will re, would return, uh, the, re, the, your body fat would then redistribute again because of your body's, because of a female body's natural estrogen, progesterone, progesterone hormones. Uh, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I don't know the terms correctly at all, but I do know what I have been told and what I have learned, what I have read. So, Educated, yes. Expert, no. So take as you want, as you will. And um, the next section on here, the next category is possible side effects. And some of those side effects include liver problems as well as thyroid problems, acne, and some people can get that possibly severely. There's an increased aggression, mood changes, roughening of the skin, balding patterns, Infertility, hypertension, osteoporosis, osteoporosis <laughs> vaginal yeast infections, heart attacks, and heart disease. Yeah, that's a lot of bad, I guess, that can come out of it, but the effects prior to or in collaboration with are far more um, wanted in my case. That's how I feel about it. I'd rather have those bad effects possibly come up. They don't always come up with everyone. And um, a lot of, from what I've been told, a lot of at my HRT session is that a lot of those effects 
are caused because people aren't comfortable with themselves in order to find those prior to, and then the testosterone just hurts more, so hurts it all more. Uh, and that has mainly to do with the heart disease and uh, heart attacks, osteoporosis, all that can be created prior to as well, so keep that in mind. Uh, and again, this is possible side effects. It's not exactly desired effects, but personally, I don't mind roughening the skin. I actually, my hand, uh, that's not a concern. And then you have stuff like balding patterns. Yeah, that's going to happen if you're, depending on what I've been told, you, you will look like your dad. Even though male par uh, balding patterns happen to be genetically through your mother, um, I'm sure other people have other opinions or have had other uh, effects on themselves and I've heard other things but from what I have been educated about not too long ago in my HRT session it has you will end up physically and whatnot you looking like the fa your father so also I'd like to go through some common misconceptions I really apologize my voice is not my reading is not cooperating with me. So, common misconceptions include testosterone will use will cause my breasts to disappear completely. That's false. <clears throat> uh, I will no longer need breast exams or pap smears once on hormones. Also false. Also, even though it's not comfortable, I'm sure for anyone, it's not definitely not comfortable for me, and I'm not comfortable with my friends. Um, that uh, that is also false, and they need, you need to keep that uh, checked. And if you can find a place where uh, trans um, patients are accepted and uh, embraced, where they will use your your name uh, as you want, I feel that's a much more comfortable environment. So I would recommend that for anybody. <clears throat> Uh, another misconception is, I will develop an Adam's apple and my jawline will grow. It says here that's false. I know some guys have either lost weight here so you see their jawline more, uh, or um, they're young enough taking it that there is bone growth, but usually testosterone does not affect bone growth. And uh, the Adam's apple, it might, again, if you lose weight in here or uh, your muscles begin to really fill out and grow, then it might seem like it. Regardless, if that's something you're looking for, it's supposed to not come from testosterone. But again, research is limited, and there are other there are people who have experienced these things. So, another misconception is uh, taking more testosterone will lead to quicker results. That's false, and it says here, in fact, too much testosterone can be preceded back to can be processed back into estrogen. Who wants that, right? And then uh, within the body, and it may slow results. <clears throat> um, that, along with the idea of body fat, ha um, contains a lot of estrogen. And then also the another misconception is that I will grow a penis, testes in a penis. That's false. Yes, the clitoral, uh, the clitoris will grow. There will be clitoral growth, but that's about it for that. And then. Uh, Two more misconceptions include, I will be able to impregnate in a genetic woman. There's no sperm there. And uh, I will no longer be able to be impregnated, which is also false because there's, a, I think it's 99% chance that you won't be. So there's a, well, still 1% chance that you will. And so if you're with a bio man as a trans female, trans male, F to M, then there's a possibility of that. So, I just kind of wanted to go through those effects and kind of possibly help someone out who's thinking about, without having to read and see every, or without having to watch a bunch of people's videos and their progress and kind of jot down what where their changes were and how they're changing. That's basically an overall of what I have found and uh, what I was told at my HRT session. It's what you, if you had that, if you also were to attend an HRT session, that's what you would hear as well, as along with some other um pertinent information and uh that covers it for this video nice uh, talking with you guys and i will catch you later bye